Robert Kraft on CNN yesterday. And Curtis, you said Jones yesterday afternoon was saying Tom Brady should say no. Should, right. Should the Patriots offer? And where was this when he was still playing and could still, you know, finish his career here? And I, this is obviously Robert Kraft owns the team. He is doing what's in the best interest of his organization. But in hindsight, it seems a little spotlight stealing in terms of trying to get the narrative out there quickly that Tom was always a Patriot. We never wanted him to leave. He was a son of mine that I loved dearly. And I think there's an easy way to resolve the whole thing. Sign the one day contract and release to the public your last and final offer. Because that there's so much of what Kraft is attempting to say is reliant on understanding what they offered him. In other words, if he offered the same deal and Tom chose Tampa, that that means Kraft is being 1,000% honest, that he offered him fair market value, Tom chose to leave. If it wasn't, then what he said yesterday is disingenuous. Do you think Robert Kraft was being disingenuous when he said that the first time he, you know, understood Tom Brady to be leaving was when Tom Brady came to see him on that fateful night and said, I'm out of here. Yeah, I think it's similar to the Bogarts negotiation with the Red Sox. Obviously, different caliber player. But Sam and John and the whole organization believed that Xander loved Boston, and if they played on his heartstrings and said, you know, we love you, Xander, publicly, even if the money wasn't the same, that he was never going to leave. And so, yes, I believe there was an element of Robert Kraft that evening when it was when the deal was consummated with Tampa and it was finally out there that he was no longer a Patriot, that Robert was somewhat surprised because he just assumed Brady would capitulate as he always had. Well, Tommy Curran also said yesterday, and it goes to show you that maybe it was more on Brady that the the offer, because that's, and I'm with Curtis, you know, we all want to know the offer, but there he reported that it was $22 million a year that they were getting him. So $3 million less than what Tampa offered him. Okay. Well, it's not the mil. It's what the guaranteed money would have been. That's well, I think only- that I think that's what he meant is that he was going to get twenty two million per year, where Tampa was offering him twenty five million per year. And I had always gone back, and I still to this day believe it was more about Robert Kraft than it is Bill Belichick. I think Robert's the one who goes, "I'm not paying this guy. I'm not paying him twenty two million or." Because it, it was somewhere between fifteen and twenty-two million at the time is what everybody was putting out there, and I'm not giving him twenty-five million what he wants. He's forty, whatever he was at the time, forty-two. 42. I'm not going to do that. But you really think that it was three million dollars that was the driving force to get Brady out of here? No, I think Tom Brady wanted to go. I think the money wasn't there. There was three million dollars more in Tampa, I guess. But I think also Tom Brady wanted to go and do it on his own. Exactly. He like, did not want to leave here. What oh. are you guys talking about? He put his house on the market the day the team said, we are not coming to a long-term agreement with you. After they won, after the Super Bowl in 2018, he won his sixth. They were negotiating a long-term deal. He wanted to be paid into his 40s. The team didn't believe he could play that way, so he put his house on the market and left. Curtis, it's possible that he didn't want to leave here, but his wife wanted to leave here. Th- that could very and well. you know his wife wanted to leave here. But, Greg, the timeline is the house doesn't go on the market until he's negotiating a long-term deal to remain with the Patriots. But why do you always put that only on the organization and none of it on him? I don't. At the time, I said I disagree with Robert Kraft, but logically... If Bill and Tom were no longer able to be copacetic, that you trust the ability of the coach to do his job at a high level for longer than the person and the athlete on the field, because what Tom was attempting to do was unprecedented. So I get that. But to sit back today and say that this was your son, when the day he left, Robert Kraft was calling during commercial breaks on first take to get his side out there to Stephen A. Smith instead of going on camera and actually being asked the questions that he answered yesterday on CNN. But doesn't it shake up, though, that Brady wanted out? Because if I had to put my last dollar on it, I believe that they offered him 
$22 million a year. And it might have only been a one-year deal where he only ended up getting what? Uh, Two-year two deal from Tampa So Bay. it was one year, right? So the whole long-term thing is kind of thrown out the window. I believe he got to the point and he said, okay, it's not about the money. They're going to give me $22 million, the Patriots. I want to go yes. somewhere else. That's what I believe. I don't believe it has anything to do long-term because we know he didn't sign a long-term deal with Tampa. He signed for one extra year. And everything he said after leaving points me in that direction, that right. he was just done with being in New England, which is fine. Yeah, I just – I don't it, – when whether it's Jones or Curtis mm-hmm. – Saying that Tom Brady should say no and it's disingenuous of Robert Kraft, I, d- I just I don't agree. Well, if we're going to cite Tom Curran about Tom Brady, this is what he said about Tom wanting to stay here long term. A couple weeks ago, I asked as there was being passed around speculation, will Brady come back to the Patriots? I said that wouldn't happen, right? And I was told via text that would not happen. He would never go back to the Patriots. Now, would he come back and sign a one-day contract? I would imagine the same thing holds true for the simple reason. The Patriots had multiple years in which Brady all but crawled on his hands and knees to the door of Robert Kraft and said, please, sign me. I don't want to move from this house in Chestnut Hill. He crawled on his hands and knees yes. begging Kraft to keep him because he didn't want to leave. Yes, that is the narrative that Tom Brady Sr. was propagating to Tommy Curran. Oh, so but I, now we're using I Tom Curran to say $22 that. million, but we're not saying that that's accurate. So we're picking and choosing. I, I understand that. I, I understand that both sides had a narrative that they wanted to get out. I just don't think Tom Brady's the kind of guy who says no. I, I, I think if the Patriots say we want you to do a one-day contract and come back here, I think he, I think he would because of the fans, wouldn't he? He, I mean, he spe- specifically left the Patriots out of his first retirement announcement entirely. Yeah, mm. oversight. Yeah. And I don't and I don't think he and I was listening to Jones and Mego and they talked about this yesterday that he has some clause in his Tampa Bay contract whereas if he retires it saves them a bunch of money. Mm-hmm. So how does he do uh one day with the Patriots and retire to help them save money, similar to what Drew Brees did to help Tampa save money towards their salary cap. So yeah. I don't think he does a one day just because of that. All right.